What's up, everybody? Today, I'm gonna talk about some freight brokering, like tips for like helping you out moving an operation. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the hub circle method. If you are watch, if you bought any of the webinars, if you bought the freight broker webinar especially, you'll hear me talk about the hub circle method. The hub circle method was something that we came up with um, like years ago. You know what I mean? Just through the course of doing logistics, you just come up with ways to make shit just work better. Um, the way it's designed is for you to be the focal point, like the hub, the, the center wheel, the center, the center, you know, the center point. The customer, the truck driver, and the delivery point, all everything, you know, centers around you are the folk, you you are the one who, you know, is coordinating all of it, which is what you want. You want to be able to, you can't control everything. But you want to try to, to, to be able to handle as much as you can when it comes to an operation. So that way, if you need to make an adjustment, you can. A lot of times, the customer is going to want you to cater more to them. But you got to be as good to your truck drivers as you are to your customers. Because nine times out of ten, most drivers, like you know, especially drivers who are independent owner-operators, they're going to be functioning on a, on a disciplined level, you know what I mean? Because they're running a business. So they're going to need to know the on-time pickup, what time they need to deliver, what's the commodity that's going to be put into their trailer if it's their trailer. Um, you know, all of these things go into uh, being a part of that hub. And as you, as being the freight broker or the freight forwarder, if you're the freight broker, then they're going to, the driver's your communication point. If he wants to speak to the customer, you know, he, he can, I guess, speak to their dispatch. You want to kind of, you know, as a broker, I mean, common sense would tell you, you don't want to have everybody, you know what I mean? You want to, you want to, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you X yourself out of being, you know, the, the, the intermediary, but, um, you are the focal point as the hub. And that's, that's why it's important in terms of the hub circle method that you understand that, you know, you have to accommodate both. So if the driver's calling you and he has a question, then you got to be able to answer that question. If it's about whatever the, you know, the, the customer is giving them, it's overweight, whatever, any issues, you can't just be catering to your customer. Granted, I understand the customer is who is giving you the business, but your driver is who is executing the work. So you got to be as good to your driver as you are to your customer. Now, at different points, you might have to cater to one more than, than you cater into the other, but you want to make sure that you treat them pretty much equal because they're important. And let me tell you, I'm going to give you an example of a mistake that I made. Um, when I first started brokering, it was a load. We were all in like aluminum. It was recycled aluminum. That, 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 I mean, some of you out there know what it is, that heavy, that heavy, that heavy shit. And it was going like maybe five states over. And so the driver was coming to pick it up I was the only one in the office at that time period. I took off because I had to go, I had to like take a physical, a DOT physical or something. It was something I was doing, but there was nobody manning the phones for like three, four hours. And when the driver finally got hold of me, he was furious. You know what I mean? He was furious because he had questioned the, the, the pickup was messed up. They had him like held behind. It was a 24 hour spot, but he was way past his service hours. I wasn't there to accommodate my driver. I wasn't there to call the customer and say, can we get this guy in? Whatever, whatever. I don't know if it would have helped, but I at least should have been there to try and, and help him. But I didn't. And I feel bad about that. Like that's, that's a certain situation where I was in the wrong. I should have. I should have been there to help my driver. And if, and the, at that point, I don't think the phones were forwarding to the cell phone. So it, I don't know. It was, it was a crazy situation. I know I wasn't there for my driver, and that was a bad thing. Um, I made sure always after that to number one, make sure my phones was connected so that when one when the office phone rang, my cell phone rang. But I also made sure that. I was um, available to, to my customers and my drivers. You know what I mean? Because I recognized 
that what I'm telling you, which is the hub circle method, it works. You know what I mean? They depend on you. And the thing about this, right? As a freight broker, you're always trying to retain clientele. You're always trying to retain your customers. So the little things you do to uh, to accommodate a customer or to accommodate a driver, they'll always want to mess with you again. They'll always want to do business with you again because they know that you are a safe bet when it comes to you. Number one, the thing that helped me out was that I was a truck driver. So, you know, I did, you know, what, nine, 10 years, 12 years. I mean, I still got my CDL, yo. I'm, I'm, I'm 15, 16 years strong now. So I come from a truck driver mentality. Um, knowing how to, to, to be fair is important. You know what I mean? That's like that, that also is, that's what you hear me preaching the most on this part of the, on, on this particular session, because I always like to, and I'm changing subjects real quick, which I often do. I like to overpay. You know what I mean? I like to overpay for the jobs that my drivers have done for me. Like, I know Florida freight is cheap, but if I want to get some freight out of Florida, I'm, I'm going to overpay, number one, just because I know somebody will take it. But two, because I, resp I appreciate the driver for doing that because it, 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 you're not going to get large number freight out of going out of Florida. You can get your numbers coming into Florida, but going out is not, it's, it's not the same way. So I try to overpay. But doing those type of things, making yourself the hub of the operation, right? Like like the hub of the operation where everybody can get to you and you're doing your job and you and you fair to everybody. Um it'll get it'll get you more business. It'll get you more business in you know, um, it'll get you more loads from that particular customer because they know you can handle it. Like, you know, when they give you your first multiple delivery, you know, multiple pickup order, like, you know what I mean? You got like 13 or 14 trailers that you got to deliver for these people. You know what I mean? You got to find 13 or 14 drivers to get them all covered. They trust in you with, you know, their customers to deliver to their customers. So now you get trusted with, with some of their operations. So, at the point at which you are, are in that part of it, that hub circle stuff starts to really, really work. You know what I mean? Like it, it really, really works because now you're getting all this, you're getting all this work and you can handle all of it. And they know that you can handle the deliveries on it. So that was just, you know, a little, a little tip. That's, that, that's just, you know, something you should apply. Like I said, if you say, if you watch the webinar, the freight broker and webinar, I break down the hub circle method um, a lot further because, you know, like I said, that's something that was a technique that I used for, um, for freight brokering, you know what I mean? Just always being able to, 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 to be right there to deal with both, you know, to deal with all aspects of the operation, which makes you the, you know what I mean? It makes the, it makes the whole wheel turn and all and, and whatnot. So that was it. I just wanted to give you all the hub circle method. Remember the hub circle method. So I'm out of here.